As the sun sets in the Middle East on a truly unique World Cup, we can reflect on controversies, upsets, the ridiculous, and the sublime. From the genius of Messi to the romance of Morocco, or the dancing Brazilians to the tears of Ronaldo, we've seen it all in Qatar. And the only thing left is to pick our top World Cup 11. Goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez, Argentina. The Argentine stopper has encapsulated everything you want from your keeper at a tournament. He's been inspirational, reliable, spectacular, and even a little bit crazy. Yasin Monu can feel hard done by to miss out after such an exceptional tournament. But Emmy's overall influence can't be overstated. His heroics in the fiery and controversial Holland quarterfinal alone get Martinez the nod. And the scenes his penalty saves sparked are a highlight of the tournament. Then there's that bit of an edge, the craziness. He was at the center of it all as tempers flared after the match and even called out for Hall. He showed his passion for his country on the biggest stage. What more could you want? Right back, Ashraf Hakimi, Morocco. Simply put, the PSG right back was nothing short of outstanding in the World Cup. As Morocco continued to progress and become the darlings of the football world, Hakimi was like the Energizer Bunny. He just did his thing, game after game, and he just did not stop. For an unfancied African side, he was part of a defense that kept clean sheets against Croatia, Belgium, Spain, and Portugal. <laughs> it's insane! His friendship with Mbappe may not have spared him against the French, but he's a worthy part of this team. Center back, Nicolas Otamendi, Argentina. After the World Cup in Russia four years ago, you would have found it hard to find anyone who would have expected Nicolas Otamendi to still be in the team. He had a shocker in Russia, and his international future looked bleak. But against all odds, Otamendi has proved to be an inspirational rock at the heart of the Argentine defense. It's been a welcome but surprising turnaround for the 34-year-old, and the Benfica center back has been the defensive linchpin behind Argentina's success. Center back, Dayo Upamecano, France. Despite being a relative newcomer to international football, Upamecano has showcased in Qatar exactly why he's one of the best young defenders in the world. Sure, the Bayern center back may look like he's carved from granite and has the physical presence that would deter any would-be forwards from attempting to pass him, but his overall speed and versatility is what sets him apart. He's more than just a defender, and a very good one at that. He's a footballer that can actually play and isn't scared to break the lines and pass the ball. A feature for France that has been able to start attacks from the back through Dayo, so his inclusion here is well-deserved. Left back, Tio Hernandez, France. Hernandez only got in the team after his brother Lucas suffered a nasty injury in France's opening match. The AC Milan left back has not only been solid throughout the tournament, but has been an ever-present attacking threat down the left. His goal in the semi-final against Morocco in the semis is testament to that. Furthermore, his connection on the left with world beater Mbappe has been a constant source of danger for opposition teams. Hernandez has been able to contain opposition forwards enough to enable Mbappe to stay further upfield where he can do most damage. Dependable and quality, two ideal traits for any fullback. Midfield, Jude Bellingham, England. Bellingham in England may have crashed out in the quarterfinals, but make no mistake, this was a coming-of-age tournament for Bellingham. The 19-year-old cemented himself as the future of the England team and a potential future captain. His all-action and dynamic approach overwhelmed his opponents, and he showcased his ability to be able to do everything. The world got to see what Dortmund have known for some time, that the kid is special. Unfortunately for the Bundesliga, though, there's every chance that this World Cup performance may well have accelerated his move to the Premier League. It's a matter of when, and not if. Midfield, Sofiane Amrabat, Morocco. For those that weren't familiar with the tough-tackling Moroccan midfielder before Qatar, they most certainly are now. Amrabat has been an absolute warrior in the heart of the Moroccan midfield throughout the World Cup. His ability to tackle and break up play has been priceless for a Morocco side that has spent much of their games without the ball in defending. His tenacity and ferociousness have been the starting point for their devastating counterattacks. And let's all be honest, if nothing else, he should probably make this team for that incredible tackle on Mbappe alone. The Fiorentina man has been outstanding, and you wouldn't be surprised to see a lucrative move in the future. Midfield, Enzo Fernandez, Argentina. Six months before the World Cup, 
Enzo hadn't even been called up by Lionel Scaloni. But the River Plate graduate does not know what pacing means. Enzo Fernandez announced himself on the world stage in Qatar, and his performances in midfield have done nothing but confirm that the 21-year-old is destined for the very top. As well as the joy of lifting the World Cup, Enzo also scooped the Young Player of the Tournament award, ahead of the likes of Bellingham and Chouamini. He's shown as a complete midfielder that's able to pass, tackle, and dictate play. Hugely impressive for somebody so young. Having excelled all tournament, you'd have to believe Benfica will be bracing themselves for the phone to ring from a major European club sooner rather than later. Forward, Lionel Messi, Argentina. There really isn't too much more that can be said about Messi that hasn't already been said. He is simply the greatest of all time. And even those Ronaldo supporters would be forced to admit that his impact during this World Cup is simply immeasurable. He is the epitome of a talismanic feature. Not just for a team, but for an entire nation. After years of criticism aimed at Messi for failing to deliver on the biggest stage of them all, the little magician has stepped up when his country needed him most in Qatar. While Ronnie exited the stage left in floods of tears, Messi drove his team on and delivered an historic World Cup trophy and showed the world exactly why he has to be considered the greatest player to ever play the game. Forward, Kylian Mbappe, France. As impressive as Leo Messi has been and as great as his legacy is, Mbappe has also used Qatar 2022 to show everyone exactly who the heir apparent in waiting really is. Not that there's ever really been any doubt, but Messi's PSG teammate has been just as impressive for France. He has at times been a one-man offensive juggernaut. Many elite defenders have tried and failed to stop the 23-year-old, who has done nothing but solidify his place as the most frightening player in the world for the next decade. Having reached this level so early and so young is nothing short of phenomenal, but when the lights are shining the brightest and the eyes of the world are watching, Mbappe has delivered. Simple as that. Forward, Antoine Griezmann, France. Say what you want about his club career in recent times, but wearing the blue of France in Qatar has seen Griezmann reborn. He's been deployed in a deeper role, and he has been phenomenal. Although Mbappe may get the glory in the headlines for his dynamic firepower and pace, it's all possible because of Griezmann's intelligence and ability to pull the strings. Although he ended up on the losing side in the final, the Atletico Madrid forward has rebuilt his reputation in Qatar and showcased why he was such a hot commodity a few short years ago. Whether your country won or lost, whether you were left celebrating or crying, the World Cup certainly delivered on the pitch. And the people to thank for that are the players themselves. They had us gasp in shock and cheer in amazement. They made us curse at the TV and they made us dance in delight. The players shouldered the hopes of their proud country and put on a show that will live long in the memory. Remember, this was a showcase of the immortals, where legends are made.